Ilkir gathers all the materials for his paintings from the bush around him. The bark of the stringy bark tree, a kind of eucalyptus, will serve as his canvas. Once he would have used a stone axe to gather it. Now he has one of steel that makes the work much easier. When he has straightened and cured the bark by gently drying it over a fire, Dilkir is ready to begin his paintings. Red ochre, an oxide of iron, occurs naturally in pebbles. He covers the entire surface of the bark with it, for it represents blood, the symbol of life itself, and it will give vitality to the images that are drawn on it. White pigment is made from pipe clay, dug from a pit down among the mangroves. Brushes may be a strip of bark chewed at the end, like this one, or a few human hairs bound to the end of a twig to produce the finest lines. The very act of painting brings the artist into communion with the powers of the dream time. It's a sacramental act to ensure that the animals that are painted will continue to thrive in abundance. Ginga, the crocodile, dominates this composition. <laughs> 